Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today we are reviewing the snacks that we picked up from Bucky's. Now, if you didn't see our last episode, Bucky's is a Texas chain of gas stations and convenience stores that are just huge with their own range of branded products. First up, we have our Beaver Nuggets. Now, this is the item that people like flip out over in Texas. They love them. It's a corn puff with a sugary caramel-esque coating. The Bucky Beaver mascot, it gets its name actually from one of the founders. His name's Beaver Applin. That's his nickname. The Bucky name comes from his Labrador Retriever. So, a little tidbit for you. It's already sticking to my teeth. You know, I thought it would be sort of a caramel taste, but it tastes like it's covered in maple syrup. They are really, really sugary and the texture is a little strange, so it does get stuck to your teeth like immediately, like you're seeing I'm having trouble right now. As far as flavor is concerned, it's, you know, they got it in spades. I'm gonna give Bucky's Beaver Nuggets a seven out of 10. The sweetness level was a little high. I think they could have scaled it back a little bit. It's a different flavor and I guess I understand the hype, but didn't quite reach epic levels for me. Next up, we have our Bucky's Butter Toffee Almond Crunch. Now this is just a popcorn mix. So my hand is already kind of glistening just from going in there to get a couple of them. These are even sweeter than the beaver nuggets that we just tried. Now almond's really good. It has a bit of the toffee coating on it. The popcorn itself, too intensely sweet for me. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of 10. So overly sweetened. I mean, way more so than the beaver nuggets. And they're just covered in a crazy amount of butter. But I will say the almonds brought it up just a little bit. Overall, not a successful snack for me. Next up is this fruity Rice Krispie Treat. Now, it's uh, a regular Rice Krispie Treat basically, but then they added fruity pebbles into it. This is like a kid's dream come true. A really amazing dessert. I suggest that you try to make these at home. It would be really, really easy. You just have to get two breakfast cereals, some marshmallows, and have an oven. An ingenious combination. I'm gonna rate this an 8.5 out of 10. That's our highest rating yet. One, it's inventive. Two, you can do it yourself at home. Three, I'm getting like such a nostalgic throwback. A perfect treat. Just don't eat it too often or your teeth are gonna rot out. So yeah, be advised. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Big Red. Now Big Red's been around since 1937. It is a classic Texas drink. You can't really find it that many places outside of the state. Hey, it smells like bubble gum, like straight up liquid bubble gum. And it tastes like liquid bubble gum too, but carbonated. So it, it is kind of nice. Uh, the flavor's pretty nice, but I'm noticing the sugar already is getting to me. I would never want to finish a whole bottle of these personally, but if you're more inclined to sugary things, then you'd probably enjoy this. I'm gonna give Big Red a five out of 10. I was really shocked by the sugar content. I do like bubble gum, so that flavor is pretty nice. It's just clawingly sweet. All right, everybody, that's it for today's episode. Join us next week. We're gonna do part two to our Bucky's snack taste test. Also, we're doing a giveaway, so subscribe and comment for your chance to win a Bucky's t-shirt, and uh, we're gonna pick the winner at random. So we'll see you next time.